bro. What is this? What is this? Holy. I'm alone. When I'm on a bus, I'm a bus. I'm a bus. I don't need nobody. Yeah. Yo guys, welcome back to another Yabuko video and today we're going to be going over Bounce Kitty Pride deck So yeah, um, this deck, I actually made a video on it, a sort of a fun video um, About this sort of Demons and Dark Hawks deck that I was trying out And it just felt a bit clunky, something was missing I originally had Moongo in here and I tried to other a couple different iterations Where I tried a couple different things But this works so good Now that we have Kitty Pride, she slots into this deck so well and yeah, it's basically your everyday normal bounce deck, um, except you're going to see Collector in here, and you're going to see Dark Hawk. Now, Dark Hawk just gives you like an extra win condition sometimes on the end turn, or just before the end turn, you can throw down Dark Hawk, and you can just create some crazy power in one lane, and then focus all your other power on the other lanes. Uh, you don't always have to play Dark Hawk, but I'm going to show you guys a bit more in depth, and also in the games that we play, you can see how Dark Hawk comes in handy. And that's why we have Korg. Um, you can bounce Korg up to three, sometimes four times if you get really lucky, and you can bounce your Falcon back. Um, so you can only put in four rocks into their deck and that's without, you know, getting Kamataj or any other location. That's what helps Dark Hawk grow. And obviously the disruption that that just puts into their deck um, is just great. And then you get a zero cost two that's just constantly throwing a rock into the deck. So yeah, without further ado, I'll give you guys the deck overview here. Uh, you guys can see the in-depth deck overview in front of your screen now. And you'll also see up top some of the replacement cards. Um, I actually don't have any keys on this deck overview because I feel like pretty much the entire deck is key. Like I feel like I wouldn't change a thing in this deck. You could potentially change out some of the cards, but for this specific deck with Hawks, Demons and Kitty Pride, you can't really change out much. Everything works amazingly well. Everything synergizes great. Angela synergizes great with bounce decks. Synergizes great with Kitty Pride. Every single turn, you can throw Kitty Pride on Angela. It's plus two for Angela, plus two for Kitty every time you play her. And yeah, you got Hit Monkey who synergizes great with Mysterio. You got Beast and Falcon as your bounce cards. You can use Falcon when you have the Collector down. Get some crazy bonus to Collector. Bounce the Falcon back with the Beast and then play Falcon again to give even more bonus to Collector. Bounce more of those one cost cards into your hand. There's just so many ways to play this deck. Bass synergizes great with Hood. But yeah, um, we'll do that more in depth in the card analysis. So without further ado guys, let's get into each individual card analysis and how each card works. And I'll play a little bit of gameplay on the right so you guys can see how they all work we're moving on to the first card of this deck which is the hood the hood is an amazing card at first glance you think why is he a minus two he adds a one six demon to your hand if you can bounce that demon back into your hand it becomes an oh six demon which is absolutely insane and also bast with hood is crazy value because bast makes all cards in your hand three uh, it turns in hood into a one three which then you know you basically plus five to hood's power and you're getting a one six demon so every time you bounce hood play hood you're also getting a demon back into your hand this synergizes great with the collector because every time you play hood you're getting plus one on the collector as well because the card procs collector's card text so yeah hood just synergizes great in this deck and gives you some really powerful one cost cards and if you bounce them back they can become zero cost six power cards and yeah hood just incredible in this deck works amazing with bast works amazing with the collector let's move on then we move on to the star of this deck the new card that everybody has in their collection so i don't want no excuses is kitty pride she's definitely going to get a nerf it's just ridiculous she gets plus two power every time she returns to your hand and she returns to your hand automatically um the best case scenario for you is to try and beast this card as soon as possible to make it a zero cost so every turn you can play that kitty pride for free and get that plus two on kitty pride for free um if you can bast her before you're able to play her that's also good because making her a one three is great and then you get the plus two every Every time also every time she bounces back if you have collector on the board that's plus one to collector if you put, put her on angela there's every turn you get a plus two on angela for absolutely free and kitty pride comes back to your hand so you're not taking up any space in that lane kitty pride just synergizes with so many different cards in this deck and on the last turn if you've got her in the first turn you're likely to play, be playing a 110 um or more as you're going to see in this video when i hit shiri's lab and have i think a one 124 which is absolutely insane having 124 on a one cost card then we move on to Bast. Bast, uh, I've explained briefly before, makes all of the cards in your hand 3 power. This works with every single card in this deck, even Mysterio. For those that don't know, the uh, way that Bast works with Mysterio is it makes all of Mysterio's 0 power clones into 3 power as well. Turning Mysterio into a two, from a 2-4 to a 2-9 because of the uh, power you're able to spread across the board, which is just insane. Bast again, obviously with Hood, like I previously mentioned, turns him into a 3 power, which is a plus 5 power gain. Um, the only um, caution that I'm going to tell you 
you guys is make sure that you don't by accidentally bast your demons which are one six that's the only card that will not synergize great with bast so if you're playing bast make sure you play bast before you play hood and make sure you get those demons out of your hand before you play bast um but yeah bast great card works amazing with dark hawk bishop angela hit monkey falcon so on and so forth but just be cautious don't bast those demons i've done that mistake already then we move on to Korg. Korg is here for some disruption. He's a nice one cost. You could swap out some other one costs for some of the cards that I've mentioned so far. But like I said, I would recommend you just stick to this deck pretty strictly. They synergize great with each other. Korg synergizes obviously with Dark Hawk. If we can bounce Korg two, three times, that's two or three rocks inside of their deck, which means that's plus um, four or six power for Dark Hawk. So yeah, Cork works amazingly well in this deck. He disrupts the enemy, he yeah, helps out Dark Hawk, and yeah, obviously synergizes with Bast as well. So not too much to explain there. Then we move on to Angela. Angela is a must-have in this deck because the synergy with Kitty Pride is insane. Every time you play Kitty Pride on her, she gets plus two. Kitty Pride gets plus two and it bounces back. You're not taking up any lane space. And with bounce decks in general with Angela, they're crazy. You could fill up her lane, Falcon it all back. Then you could play more cards on her, bounce Angela back, make her into a one cost. There's so many different win conditions and there's so many different ways to get Angela absolutely huge. So Angela must have synergizes is amazing with a new card. So yeah, make sure you have Angela in your deck. Then we move on to Hitmonkey, the star of uh, last season, who already brought bounce decks more into the limelight than they have been. He just gets a massive amount of power, plus two power for each time. Uh, sorry. Hitmonkey just gets plus two power for each time there's a card played on his turn. So usually you want to play him on turn five, turn six, when you have a bunch of one cost or zero cost cards because you've been bouncing them. And he synergizes great with Mysterio. It's just simply playing Hitmonkey and Mysterio turns Hitmonkey into a two six. And if you've already bastard Mysterio, uh, then you get in a two nine from Mysterio, a two six from Hitmonkey. So for four power, you're putting down 15. Now uh, for four energy, you're putting for four energy you're putting down 15 power which is just insane so yeah hit monkey with a bounce deck 100 percent need to have it because of all the zero cost cards you can just flood the board on the last turn and get hit monkey to some crazy numbers as well then we have beast beast self-explanatory he bounces cards back to your hand in the location he has played and removes one cost off of all the cards i like to mainly do beast with all my one cost cards so i have zero cost cards in my hand that means i can just play whatever i want without having to think about how much energy i have left um beast just an amazing card he works well with hood here he works well with kitty pride turn her to a zero cost and also the buff from kitty pride where she gets plus two power at return to your hand also procs with beast or falcon just a heads up so yeah, then we'll move on to the Collector, who has Synergy with Beast, the card that we were just talking about. Every time you would Beast a card or Falcon a card, Collector is getting plus one for each time a card is put back into your hand. So not only is he synergizing amazing with Kitty Pride in this deck, he's synergizing with Beast, he's synergizing with Falcon. Every time you play Hood, and Hood gives you a Demon in your hand, Collector also gets plus one. So yeah, Collector can also hit some crazy high numbers. Um, Collector's one of those cards that you put in the lane, or maybe they're going to lock off a lane, and you can catch them off guard and get Collector to some huge power, um, and just win the lane later on in the game by flooding the board and one other reason that the collector is just so strong is that he can't be enchantress as you notice by his card text he's not an ongoing card much like bishop so there is no real counter to the collector other than shang chi if he gets more than nine power so it just makes the collector a really strong card really hard to counter and obviously he got a recent buff collector used to be two one he's now two two and yeah he just works amazing in this deck now we move on to falcon falcon is great he just offers a second way to bounce cards back into your hand maybe you don't draw beast maybe you do draw beast one of my favorite things to do at the moment is to play a one cost like hood hood is my favorite to use with falcon sometimes i'll play hood for turn one and then just play falcon turn two just to get a hood back in my hand and get another demon into my hand as soon as possible and then i'll beast back on the on the location where falcon is um, which means i can then play falcon again later on for even lesser cost and i can bounce the cards yet again and then you can end up bouncing cards back into your hand three times which is just absolutely crazy so yeah falcon's amazing in this deck he synergizes great with the collector you can buff the collector up to some crazy numbers just be careful about playing the right order of cards if you want to play falcon but also want to play your demons make sure you play falcon before you play your demons i've made the mistake of flooding the board of all my one cards then playing falcon and just emptying the board of everything so um don't make that mistake then we move on to mysterio uh, Mysterio is just an amazing card in bounce decks at the moment. He's amazing with Bishop. He gives plus three to Bishop for two power. Um, like I said, he synergizes amazing with Bass because it turns all of the clones into three power clones rather than zero power clones. Uh, he synergizes amazing with Hitmonkey, turns him into a two six. Uh, yeah, Mysterio, just amazing card. There's not more, 
much else to say when you play him he plays three cards usually they're zero power clones and one is the four power but like i said in an ideal situation you want to be basting mysterio before you play it because the gain you get on mysterio is absolutely insane by basting him now we move on to bishop bishop everybody's had for a long time pretty self-explanatory card every time you play a card he is getting plus one power this is obviously amazing with bounce cards because you can play more than the spaces on the board because once you have bishop down you keep playing these cards bouncing them back into your hand playing it again especially kitty pride Kitty Pride is just plus one to Bishop every single turn because Kitty Pride is going to be bouncing back into your hand every time. Mysterio is a plus three to Bishop and so on and so forth. I think you guys get the idea that Bishop is just crazy. You can put him in a lane that's going to get locked down. You can put him in a lane that they're trying to lock down and he can just hit some crazy high numbers because you can keep bouncing those cards back into your hand. Then we go into the outlier of the deck which is Dark Hawk. Dark Hawk is just a good card at the moment. He's a good card in the meta. He gets to some high power numbers without really having to put too much commitment into it you already have Korg um, so the, the goal is obviously to bounce Korg two three times um, sometimes four times and put those three or four rocks in their deck and then Dark Hawk just hit some high numbers and also sometimes you play against people with a Thanos deck they have a lot of cards in their deck or you play with a location that shuffles five rocks into their deck or you play a card here and it adds four vi three vibranium into the deck and Dark Hawk can just hit some crazy high numbers without you even having to try too much but Korg is there to buff that up and disrupt them and Dark Hawk obviously benefits from Bass because he has a zero power but um, you know if you Bass him then his base power is three on top of the plus two he gets for each card in the enemy's deck. So yeah, I'll give you guys a deck overview again here so you guys can have a little look. I did put some replacements up top if you don't own some of these cards, but like I said, in an ideal scenario, if you want to play the Demon Kitty deck, this is the deck that works so well. Everything synergizes amazingly well together. I hope you guys try out this deck and have a lot of fun like I did. I had some crazy, crazy, crazy plays with this deck. Um, you're going to see me getting Kitty Pride to some insane numbers. Like one game, I think she was 124 power. It's just insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it helps a ton i'm a very small channel and we are slowly growing and it means a lot i really appreciate all the support that we got so far and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the gameplay i'm gonna play some games for you guys now um yeah let me know how you guys are liking the new card what kind of decks you are trying her out in what kind of decks you'd like to see me try and peace your buko is out all right guys ignore the fact that you can't see the deck list but i am playing orcs demons and kittens I wanted to make a video now about uh, Kitty Pride, but I think I'm actually probably going to wait till tomorrow now because of the um, fact that you guys can't see the deck list over here. I love for my city. Better just to skip this turn. Yeah, I'm uploading a patch note, a video about the patch notes now. Oh, the stream's lagging for you. Oh, okay. Do you know why? I know why. It's because I'm uploading a video. There you go. I, st I stopped. I stopped uploading the video. It should be fine now, Fox. Yeah, I'm uploading a video now, Fox, on the, the patch notes. They did come out already. Uh. Oh, really? It made that one more cost out of everything. Is this the deck that I think it is? Yeah, Kitty's out. Kitty is out. She is in this deck as we speak. But um, it's crashed on tap GG because they changed they changed how the decks are. Like you can change your picture and title based on what deck you're using now, apparently. For whatever reason that may be. Did I play that in the right order? I played Bishop first, right? Yeah, I did. I still haven't drawn Kitty once. And he's just about to play Galactus, isn't he? 
We need to guess if he's going to play it in... I think he will play it in mid, right? Please play it in mid, bro. Please play it in mid. Please play it in middle. He has to play in mid. Because he's going to think, oh, I can take on Angelo better than I can take on Bishop. Oh, wait, what? He didn't play it. Oh, fuck. I think I just lost. Overcommitting. He probably just played Destroyer. Oh, no, he didn't even play Destroyer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we draw. Oh, but what? Why did he play Death? I think we win mid, though. Yeah, we win. Let's go. There's no way he can win. Guest. Can I please draw the card? Is there a bug? Do you think it's bugged? Where like I'm not drawing it or something like that? Because this seems a bit weird. How how many times I've played and I still haven't drawn it? Nah, there there must be a bug, bro. There's no way I haven't drawn the card once. Have I not got it in this deck? I saw I put it in this deck. I did, because I got the boosters for it. Hey! There we go. There we go. I want to make it a zero cost. But I guess I'll wait. Or should I do it now? I guess I'll wait. I don't wanna... I... We'll... Let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck it. We'll make it a zero cost now. I am. Why does he keep playing stuff in mid? How does he know I'm going mid? What's going on? Where's he got? Six in his deck. Go play that. Oh, okay, when Storm. That's good. Are you sure it's in your deck? <laughs> Bro, I was, I was confused for a second. I mean, he can't win left. There ain't no way. Fucking hell, that's actually insane. Yo, bro, what? Oh, I shouldn't have played anything on left. Oh, it still doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna snap. I don't think you can beat this. That, that, and that. <clears throat> Let's go! Let's go! Ooh, I think he won left, bro. And he won mid. No! I didn't think about Doom. Oh wait, he didn't! He didn't! Yes! We draw! And the difference for me on right is bigger than the difference in mid. Let's go! I forgot about Core getting in plus two. Victory. Deck's kind of nuts. I know, right? With Kitty Pride, it makes it so much better. I kind of want to bounce my cards. I don't really have a way to beat big power in mid, so maybe I should throw some cards down there. I need a bounce though. Oh wow, I got Howard the Duck. Kind of cool. You should Shuri and Kitty turn five. Bro, that's a shout. I haven't got Shuri though, but that is a shout. Uh, Toss, Toss Master Kitty. That would be crazy though. 
Can I see what's on my deck? Oh, Bast. Fuck. Oh, wait. He really killed Key for Gamma Lab. Nah, man. I wouldn't do that. I would not have done this. I hope he plays something that's trying to destroy my cards. Can I get Falcon, please? If I don't get Falcon, I'm actually kind of fucked. Oh, I should have checked, innit? Oh, okay, I'm fucked. Great. The Collector, why is he at one cost? Okay, well, I'm not even getting the Falcon. But at least we destroy those cards. Well, this sucks. Ah, oh, I've lost this game. Hey, yo, you got a duck. I know, right? What's 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 coming next? Oh yeah, collector in it. Why is he at one cost? He's not at one cost. Why is the duck lying to me? Oh, the next card I'm getting was Kitty Pride. Fuck. I mean, I lose one, two, yeah, I mean, I'm losing. Oh, yeah, I've lost this game. I got the duck. Escaped. Hey, yo, I got the duck. Oh, fun, just playing K Kitty Pride in a bunch of different decks. Oh, bro, imagine. <laughs> Let's test fate. Oh, yes! Shuri's lab, bro! Every turn! Let's go! Let's go! Let's see what's about to happen here. <laughs> so she's gonna be 4, then she's gonna come back to my hand at 6, then she's gonna go back to be 12, come back to my hand 14, then it's gonna go 28, come back to my hand 30, bro. Oh, I shouldn't have snapped. I wanna see what's gonna happen. <laughs> nah, this is unfair. Nah, this is not even fair. Playing a bounce deck as well, but <laughs> it ain't gonna be as crazy as my one, boy. <laughs> Bro, what is this? <laughs> uh, I'll do that, I guess. I'll do that too. Oh no, because I don't want to draw back the. I don't want to draw back the the raptors. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm just gonna play that over there. Time for Sandman ramp. <laughs> you won't come against anyone who's playing it. I'm telling you. When you when you build against it, you will come up against it. Bro, what is this kitty pride? <laughs> oh my god, bro. I think this is the thumbnail right here. <laughs> what is this? This is about to be gross. I'm going to have a 60, 162. Oh, nice, nice, nice kitty pride you got there, man. <laughs> yeah, Dark Hawk's gone, by the way. Yeah, 100%. Oh, wait, wait. Bro, look at this. Oh, Dark Hawk's alive. He's alive! <laughs> Bro, he can't win mid. Like, why is he even contesting it at this point? Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is actually insane. This is like the most fun, the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> this is insane, bro. Is he really? Is he really gonna let me hit 124 on Kitty Pride? There's no way he's gonna let me do it. He's let me done it. Holy shit!
How does he think he's gonna win? Oh. Bro, what is this? What is this? Holy crap. Yeah, <laughs> my guy's the enemy. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting. 124 on K Pride is gross. Yeah, bounce is about to be disgusting. I guess he just wanted to see it. Yeah, probably. Do you know what, bro? Shuri in a bounce deck would actually be kind of crazy, right? How much does Shuri cost? Four. Can't you just bounce her back anyway and then you can play her more than once? With Kitty Pride. Jesus. That was actually crazy. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, to be honest, I have so many games and it was really hard for me to pick what games. I kind of just threw together the first few that I had with this. I do have a lot more and some will probably be a bit more exciting, but I wanted to incorporate some of the games that are really close. Some of the games where I feel like I have to retreat. I also want to try and incorporate more games where I lose as well. Um, but I feel like showing a retreat or a loss at least one time in a video is sort of enough to let you guys know when you should give up when you should leave maybe see my shortcomings don't make the same mistake so i hope you guys try out this deck tell me how it goes for you um like i said my main tips for this deck was to watch out for basting your demons for falconing at the wrong time and yeah other than that i mean it's pretty straightforward it's not straightforward it's actually quite a big brain deck bounce decks are quite difficult to pilot um and you can definitely mess yourself up a little bit bounce at the wrong time play the wrong cards at the wrong time and yeah i mean hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys like comment and subscribe as well like i said i am a tiny channel so every like comment and subscription is actually just a massive deal to me so i hope um you guys help me and support me so far i really appreciate the support one of my videos hit like a thousand views which is huge for me so yeah i hope everybody enjoys I hope everybody tries out this deck and yeah may you get to infinite if you're not there already and if you are there already let's get to 200 so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i'll be making a new video with a new type of deck we'll be trying now probably the new crystal um since that's a new change in probably like a dino deck or something like that so hope you guys enjoy peace catch you guys on the next video spending too much time wishing the star realize that you're just sitting in the dark home for a spark waiting for no to show up with the arc i ain't going to buy two i'm gonna cruise right by you if it's all that i do high iq let me prove what you got